What's up? My name's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and I'm super excited about today's video because we are making a coral bong. Now I have made this coral bong before, once before, and it got cracks in the bottom and didn't work out and I ended up smashing it. I'll show you the video right here. So I made this really cool coral bong. That's where you smoke through like that. That's the bowl and that's the carpool. But it's got some cracks at the bottom and I can't fire because it it because it just won't work. So today we're gonna smash it. All right, here we go. <laughs> uh, and there we have it. Time to make a new one. Now we're gonna restart. So a couple of days ago, I went ahead and threw the base form. So this is what we're gonna build all the coral off of. And yeah, I think this is gonna look pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this. So let's get started. over this part and talk about how I created the bong. So this is the very beginning and I'm creating the first stem piece, the mouthpiece basically for the bong. And it's going to be just one whatever type of coral this is called. Even I don't even know if this is a coral or if I made it up, but I'm making sure it's nice and sealed so there's no air leaks or anything like that. That's there, and then I kind of build the bong around that piece. So I'm going ahead and making different sizes of that coral shape around the stem so it all kind of blends together. And that's me testing it, deciding kind of where I want the bowl to be in relationship to the stem. So I'm going to put it on that left side. Also, smoothing out with a paintbrush is just amazing. If you need to smooth clay out, use some water and a paintbrush and it will seal up all your cracks and stuff quite nicely. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. Now, next piece is adding the bowl. I went ahead and already made this and I'm kind of lining out the spot on where I want the bowl to go on the bong. That's the stem piece to the bowl. So I'm connecting that together and then I will just slide that right into the bong and that will be the bowl piece. Alright, and then that goes right in there, and then I seal around it, and just like that with an extra coil to make sure it's a nice tight seal. And then I'll usually leave that kabog skewer in the whole time I create this bong um, to just keep that stem stable because the clay is soft still. And then I went ahead and made other corals that looked like the bowl coral and put that around it just to make it look natural and flow. And then here I'm adding a, what I would call a rock coral for my carb hole. I wanted to go ahead and put that in there so I knew exactly where it was. So as I built it around, I didn't accidentally co cover up the area where I wanted the carb hole to be. So now I'm going back to these circle corals, adding more of them. Then I decided to do this kind of layered coral. And this was a lot of fun, kind of seeing how the layers just placing the layers and making it kind of look natural. I don't know, I really enjoyed making these ones, so. And they were really easy, much easier than I thought. Okay, so now I'm adding more rock corals. I went ahead and this part where you grab the bong and hold it with your hand, I'm just putting rock coral all the way around so it's not very breakable, it's not fragile, and um, it kind of gives the hand a nice placement to sit and also it looks like coral so I thought that would be like the best thing to put there.
and then next is adding details so i thought creating a bunch of holes into this rock coral would look good and give it more of a coral effect and it did i really love the way this looks i think it came out nice and then for these types of corals these circle ones i really struggled getting what to do for the detail and i finally decided on this it looks a little wonky but i think with the glaze it will all come out and look nice um, but I really struggled with the inside and outside. You'll see the inside. The inside I tried to poke holes in it with a pencil at first. And that didn't work out. And then I ended up using this tool, which I think you'll see in a second. Yeah, this tool. And I poked a lot of bigger holes. You can see in that right one that had pencil holes. I don't know. It looks okay. I don't totally love the inside, but I think with glaze it'll look alright. All right, so it is the next day. This guy's totally done. I put some finishing touches on it, but it looks really good. I'm super excited about it. I won't be able to show you the finished product because <clears throat> it needs like a week to dry before I put it in the kiln. So you're just gonna have to subscribe and watch the future video of me glazing it. If you have any ideas on how I should glaze this or what I should make it look like, uh, comment below because I'm not really sure at the moment. I'm thinking maybe all white and just a clear glaze could look cool, but also some underglaze on it would look and make it like colorful but cool as well. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. Anyways, that's all I have for today. And uh, yeah, cue the B roll of this beautiful bong, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.